Hi guys, I'm Razia. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I make skincare, fashion, and overall lifestyle content. So if that sounds like your thing, then consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram as well. So, as we all know, this world is currently in this crazy situation. The world's in lockdown. We're all working from home, or trying to at least. So a lot of people have had to transition from a certain routine that they were so used to to now being kind of stuck at home basically and having to sort of apply the same productivity and still get the job done and still get their work done from home and for a lot of people that's quite a change so I thought I would make this video to kind of go over some tips that you might find useful when it comes to transitioning from working from your workplace to now working from home my experience with this I've, I've worked from home in the past I have had to you know, take that initiative and be responsible for my own productivity before. I did freelance work and even just being a uni student, you go to your classes but still a lot of the time you do have to do your studies and things like that at home. And that does require you to get up, take that initiative and be responsible for your own learning and be responsible for doing those things because no one else is going to do it for you. So I thought I would just go over some tips that I thought that I find can be really useful. So yeah, let's just get into that. So firstly, the, one of the big things that a lot of people talk about when going from work to home is establishing a routine. The thing that really struck, that really shocks you when you have to go from working from work to now working from home is that the routine you're so used to is now broken. You're used to waking up at a certain time, getting dressed, getting in the car or the train and going to work, working from one time to another and then making the trip back home and going through your night routine, go to bed, wake up in the morning and repeat. So now when you're forced to kind of stay home, you have to kind of establish your own routine using similar metrics to what you're already used to. Wake up at the same time every day, have your coffee or your breakfast or whatever it is that you do in the morning. Use that time to kind of wake up, energize for the day and get yourself ready and in the right mindset for the day. And, and this will help you have a nice, good start to the day. Next, don't stay in your pajamas all day. I know it's easy, you wanna be comfortable. Change into some comfortable loungewear just as a good alternative. And that way you're still comfortable, you're at home, you're not in jeans or anything crazy, but you're not in your pajamas. So that little switch just, just really helps you kind of switch from home mode to work mode. If it helps, maybe wear something a little bit fancier, maybe do, your, do some makeup if that's what you wanna do, and this will help you have a nice, good start to the day. For me personally, I just like to wake up in the morning, have my coffee because I can't do anything until I've had that morning coffee. A lot of, I know a lot of people are the same, so let me know if you're also a coffee drinker or maybe you like tea or something else, let me know. I like to do my skincare. I'm not a makeup person, I don't really wear makeup on a daily basis. Right now I'm a bit caked up because I kind of did a makeup video, so I thought <laughs> that's why I look a bit like this at the moment. I don't always do this, this is a bit too much for me. I just want to wash it off, but anyway, that's, that's me. So if you are someone that likes to do your makeup, then do a little and just get yourself feeling nice and fresh and ready for the day. Next thing I like to do to really to get me started is to write down a to-do list. I might do this the night before where I write down all the things that I need to get done the next day or I wake up in the morning and while I'm having my coffee or maybe straight after I have my coffee, I like to write down what I need to do that day. And that way it, it's something to keep you accountable, something so that you remember what you need to do because sometimes you have things to do, you forget, you know, they slip your mind. So it's nice and easy to write them down and then you get to cross, cross them off as you go through the day and that helps you feel productive, you feel accomplished by the end of the day, you get to look at your to-do list at the end of the day and say, look, I did get something done. Even if you feel like you haven't, that's proof that you have. So it's really, it, it helps to have that there. Keep a nice positive environment. Have a nice well-lit room or wherever your workspace is. Keep it nice and bright and refreshed. Keep it nice and tidy. That really, really can be a huge mood booster. If you have a messy space, it kind of, that clutter can kind of clutter your mind in a way. So just to give you guys an example of what I mean by setting a nice workspace for yourself, my sister for example is now having to do uni at home and her room wasn't really I guess well laid out before or well set up in a way that she would want to spend a lot of time in there to do her work. She didn't feel motivated in that space. 
and we do have a lot of free time on our hands now so I sort of took that as an opportunity to kind of help her revamp her room and set it up in a way that's nice and refreshed for her and now she doesn't mind being in here when she has to do all her lectures and tutorials and Zoom Skype meetings and all that kind of stuff. So that's just what I mean. If you do need to take the time to kind of redesign and reorganize your space, then do that because it probably make the biggest difference for you when it comes to being productive at home. So that's just an, a bonus tip and a, an example that I wanted to share with you guys. So you want to keep a nice space. Even when you wake up in the morning, make your bed, tidy your room. If you're going to be working from your bedroom, you want to keep it a nice and tidy space. And another thing about keep about space or your workspace versus home space, have distinct zones. So have one space that's your relaxing space and have another space that is your workspace. And then that way when you're in your work zone, you're in work mode and that's where you get your work done. When you're in your relaxing area, that's where you get to relax. And your brain associates the two different areas with those two different things and it just helps you to be able to get through that time at home basically. You don't want to do work in your relaxing space and then you don't really have anywhere to relax and then everywhere you go to sit is like, oh my god, I need to do work, I need to do this, I need to do that. No, when you're in your relaxing area, you're relaxing. When you're in your work area, you're working. Another thing to help you be able to get through the day, make sure you're taking breaks. If you're getting a bit too worked up, if there's a lot going on or you feel like you're feeling like you're getting flustered, take a break. When you're at work, you have morning tea, you have lunch, you have bathroom breaks, you have different breaks. And when you're at home, make sure you're doing those same things because you don't want to get too overworked, you don't want to get too flustered. You want to make sure you're staying happy and healthy in a good, healthy mental state so that you're not getting too flustered because you're at home. You don't have, you're not at work and then you get to escape to your home by the end of the day. You're at home all the time. So you don't want to make sure, you want to make sure you're not getting too worked up at home because you don't have somewhere else to go to relax, if that makes sense. So keep a nice positive environment and make sure you're taking breaks as you need them. Another really helpful tip, and this is something that really helps um, improve your productivity when you apply it. Make sure you, send, you, make sure you set an end time for yourself for when you want to have everything on your task list done. And then that way your time is limited. The time frame in which you need to get those tasks done is limited. This helps you complete your tasks more because you know as that time approaches you need to have them done and then that way you're more likely to get them done. You don't want to have your workload kind of spanning out for the whole night, night time and you're still doing your work because you kind of took too many, you wasted too much time during the day, procrastinating, doing this, doing that. So just make sure that you kind of set yourself a work time and a relaxing time. So get your work done, whether it's you want to get it done by three, four, five, whatever your time is. Once it's five o'clock, you shut your laptop, you shut whatever your work is doing, and now it's time, it's time to chill, it's time to relax. Work for the day is over. You have work time when you're at a workplace, you have work time when you're working from home. And this way you get things done in a more timely fashion, you're more productive, you make the most out of your day, and you still get to relax by the end of the day as well. And once work is done, now's the time when you can chill, you can relax, you don't have to think about work anymore until the next morning. And this is the time you can use to maybe go outside, have a walk, do some light exercise as well, if that's what you like to do to kind of clear your mind and rejuvenate yourself, pamper yourself, do a face mask, if that's what you like to do at the end of the day, just to feel nice and fresh. And also take the time to talk to your friends, FaceTime your family members if you don't live with them, or spend some time with your family if you haven't spent any time with them that day because you've been working. Spend some time with your family, FaceTime your friends that you maybe haven't seen in a little bit. I know I, that's something I've started doing. I never really used to FaceTime people because I would see them on a regular basis and now we're not able to see each other as frequently as we would like. So we've kind of had to transition to FaceTime, which is something new for all of us. And that's something we're getting used to now as well. And it's nice to see them, it's nice to reconnect, check in with them, see how they're going. Maybe you're getting a bit anxious with everything that's going on in the world right now and the transitions that we're going through. And it's nice to be able to talk to someone and kind of bounce and have a rant maybe if you need to, or bounce your thoughts off them and just have a nice chat and relax because we're not able to socialize the way we're used to. So it's nice to kind of establish some normalcy, having a nice chat with chat with some friends. That always does a trick. <laughs> Those are basically the tips that I have. And don't forget to relax at the end of the day, take some time to yourself, chat with your friends, catch up with your family, and kind of enjoy, enjoy this 
different life that we're having at the moment. But it's not the, it's not what we're used to. Hopefully things go back to normal very soon. But while we're in this state, we might as well look at things on a more positive note and kind of make the most of it, I guess. <laughs> Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please let me know down below. Send me a comment. Make sure you give this video a nice thumbs up. Don't make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button. You've hit the notification bell. And don't forget to also check me out on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram between uploads. I only upload about once a week, but on Instagram, I'm active there every day. So hit me up on Instagram as well. I'd love to have you over there as well. So thanks so much for watching guys. Till the next time.